Hi, today we're going to go over the proper methods to inspect a boat as part of the Invasive Species Inspection Program. The first thing we want to look at is the hull. We want to check both the outside and underneath the hull, and especially if you're coming from a place that might have zebra mussels or something like that, or if the boat is extra dirty, you want to feel to see if you're feeling any sandpaper or gritty texture, because that would indicate zebra mussel villagers. After you've felt the hole, make sure nothing's on, you want to get down a little bit. You want to be able to look underneath and look at the bunks or rollers, because lots of times some weeds will catch between there. And in some boats, especially jet skis, some stuff can be hanging on the bottom of the boat. You also want to be checking underneath and around the sides of any other parts of the trailer. Also, we want to thoroughly inspect the propeller and the engine apparatus as a whole. Specifically on the propeller, between where the propeller meets the rest of the motor, lots of times things can wrap around there, so you want to be careful to make sure you're getting everything out, especially if something's caught in there. After the engine is, you made sure the engine is all clean, you want to get down and make sure that the, the bilge is uh, empty and drained. Especially if it's leaving, make sure that the motor has emptied and is draining the bilge. You can also check when the boat is coming into the lake, you can open up the bilge or have the boater do that themselves and make sure that there's no standing water in the bilge itself. Also, we want to check the anchor and the line to see if any invasives are on that. If it's not visible, you can ask the boater if they've used it or if they ever use their anchor and line. If they have, you can ask them to show it to you. Oftentimes, it'll be in a compartment up here and all that you need to do is look at it and make sure that nothing's on there because sometimes stuff will have caught on when they've anchored. You also want to look inside the boat if you can to make sure that nothing is just sitting in the bottom of the boat that could get into the water. Especially with canoes and kayaks is even more important because people are getting in and out much more often and lots of times that's where you'll find the invasives, not on the outsides.